No fewer than 8,150 persons were displaced from Galadima, Kogo, and its environs in Shiroro, local government area of Niger State, when an aircraft bombed the area on January 24th. Many members of a vigilante group and their commander were killed in the blast. The area bombed had internally displaced persons taking refuge at some facilities. Secretary to Niger State Government Ahmed Martene, uh, Matane said in MENA on Saturday that the aircraft belongs to the Nigeria Air Force and was not aware that security personnel were in the area. He added that it was not a mysterious aircraft as being rumored. He said that the government also aware of the presence of IDPs in the area. Now, the Daily Trust correspondent in Niger State gives an update on the incident. Last Tuesday, we, there was a, an air strike in Galadimo Kogoshiro, local government area of Niger State. We are, uh, sources say, due to miscommunication between the vigilantes on ground and then the air operators, a bomb was released at the center of vigilantes who have been protecting the community from attacks, and then 18 of the band, 18 of Islantis died on the spot. Nine others are still in at IBB specialist also to receiving treatment. And uh, following the, the incident, other vigilantes and other security operatives in the area have left, and then community more people have been displaced because communities have uh, residents have left with the fear that these are the people they rely on protecting them all this one. And now that this incident has happened, many of them have died and others have left, they will no longer be safe. So it has increased the tension and uh, more people have been displaced right now in Zumba. All over and over 8,000 residents have been displaced. Right now they are in Zumba. Some are in Guadawa, some are in Kuta. Well, some have headed to Mina to stay with their relations. So the, 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 the air strike has displaced, has heightened the security situation in the area, leading to display, uh, leading to displacement of more people. Uh, before before now, before the incident, uh, there were special hunters who have taken charge of security in the in Gladimo Kogo and the other adjoining areas as part of our Munya local government. So they were staying, they were there permanently, but the last attack uh, that came with the air strike shocked many many residents because they believe there should be a kind of collaboration between the the, the air force personnel who are and then the, the other uh, other forces on ground but uh no explanation has, has been given to what what actually caused the, the strike at that moment although the vigilantes were this thing was said to have happened no vigilantes were informed of movements of bandits towards Yoru and Muya and they, 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 they were preparing to, to lay ambush on the bandits as they stepped, they stepped towards Yoro. And then at that moment, air, the Air Force struck and then released bombs. Many people, uh, sources say, the Air Force assumed the people were bandits. But uh, on the side of uh, vigilantes, they felt it was a negligence. Because that's what the reason say they describe the situation as negligence. But up to now, Air Force has not come out to give any uh, official statement as regards to what actually happened.